it's me Geeky and welcome back to my channel so I know it's been a long time since I last put up a video and I'm really sorry about that I'm not going to give any excuses I promised a channel update and I haven't done it basically I got sick again I ended up with having a fever and um, chest infections and god only knows what else I had it's just been a long whole couple of months that I just wish would I'd never experienced quite frankly but I am back with a haul video but I'm gonna do it slightly differently this time around if you guys follow me on my Instagram a couple of weeks ago I posted a picture of me meeting the lovely Tiffany up in London and we decided to kind of not film um, we kind of wanted to have like a chill kind of day I mean we did film little bits here and there but not really enough to put into like a whole like video video so what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw together a montage and then pop them in at the beginning of this video and uh, let's just say it was an interesting day for manga shopping there wasn't a whole lot but you guys will kind of see that as we go through I didn't get a lot of footage but I'm gonna post what I did have because we had such a great time and unfortunately Caitlin from Kate Tins Does Manga couldn't make it but she was most definitely there with us in spirit and hopefully fingers crossed next time we will be able to meet up because girl we need to get our like manga shopping on up north because your deals up there are beautiful compared to what we got down here nothing absolutely nothing it's abysmal <laughs> But yeah, let's just uh, roll the footage, shall we? <laughs> So it is Friday, and where are we today, Reese? We're in London. We are in London. So we arrived yesterday, but we spent a long time walking around and... My legs hurt. Yeah, carrying a, a small suitcase with a lot of crap in it for no reason at all. Um, so today, we are going to meet a fellow manga tuber, and I'm so excited! <laughs> Reese is excited too, but he just doesn't show up on his face. <laughs> but yeah, so we thought we would like give you a quick tour of the hotel room. We decided where did we decide to stay in this time around? It's a premier a room. premier inn rather than somewhere else because it was like really expensive. But this one was actually okay. So yeah, I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the hotel room and then probably a walk round of what we're gonna be doing or when we go out and stuff. So yeah, hope you enjoy this video and there'll be some B-roll before this of us coming up because I didn't film before when I was at home stupidly. Eee! 
but yeah hope you enjoy this video this is gonna be like a chill manga shopping manga vibes kind of thing we're gonna go and meet actually should i just say who we're meeting yeah, there you go. i'm meeting himika or tiffany today i'm so excited i mean we were supposed to meet Caitlin as well, but unfortunately she couldn't make it. So I'm really, really upset that we can't get to meet her as well. I know Tiffany is gutted as well, but we will rearrange and then we will meet up sometime soon. Fingers crossed because girl, we need to get our manga shopping on. But yeah, let me show you the room and yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is the entrance way. We have a hairdryer and a mirror with my ugly face. Hi. Um, and then there's a full length mirror. Oh, this is the first time you've seen me in all my fat glory. <laughs> um, yeah, mirror, <laughs> wardrobe, and then like this little seating area, my handbag. I mean, the view's not too bad. I mean, we spent, yeah, we spent like, how long do you reckon we spent trying to find this place? Oh, about 20 minutes. Yeah, we walked around the square for like, what? Twice, Twice, and it was literally on the left-hand side. Another mirror, hello. Hello, Reese. Hello. <laughs> and then the bed, and the TV. The TV wasn't too bad, but the only thing about this place is like the Wi-Fi, isn't it really? Yeah, my phone like, was somewhere Yeah, it did not want to like work. I even had to pay like money for Wi-Fi, and it still didn't want to work. And then the bathroom. Not which is bad. really nice with a shower and another mirror. <laughs> we do, indeed. Let me turn this camera around. Haha, <laughs> I'm back again. Um, so yeah, I decided to braid my hair yesterday and how long did it take me about? 20 minutes, yeah. Yeah, it took me, no, it took over 20 minutes. What, to do? No, to, yeah, to do. Oh, it took you about at least 40 minutes. Like yeah, that. and then I took it out, we've had breakfast and now it's like a frizzy crazy mess so it didn't work out as well as like plan it to do you like Emma's hair like but that? Yeah. do you like my hair like this? let me know down below I feel kind of like Sailor Moon vibes I don't know why she doesn't have like curly hair but do you know what I mean with these little like pigtail things yeah I'm excited but yeah I prefer Jupiter though so maybe I should change it up don't know <laughs> Reese is like, no idea what you're doing, can you shut up? <laughs> but I think the plan for today is we're gonna go and meet Tiffany um, for lunch, kind of have like a chill lunch sesh, like get to know, get, get to know each other a bit better. I mean we've done um, manga streaming together, me, Tiff and Caitlin for the Manga Dudettes. Check it out on all three of our channels if you haven't already because it's banging. We always have a laugh. Um, but yeah, so I think we're gonna chill, have a chill kind of vibe, lunch sesh, and then we're probably gonna go and do some manga shopping. I think the plan for today is start further away and work our way back to Fidden, for, bleh, Forbidden Planet, purely because we both think we're gonna buy the most at Forbidden Planet because it's three for two. Um, Reese just wants the cookie from where was it we got cookies yesterday? Uh, crumbs and doilies. Crumbs, crumbs and doilies? Oh, crumbs and doilies? I know it's uh, cupcake Gemma, I think it is. Oh my god, really nice. I've I nabbed the recipe off of their uh, YouTube channel. Bang in, so nice. They're really nice. Really nice. So yeah, I think that's kind of the plan. We've had to lug this Winnie Pooh. Oh, can you see it in the background? This this case we took with us. My little my little Winnie Pooh. Um, and it was heavy. It was heavy, sweaty, gross. It was, not fun. it was not a good idea. So next time, I think we're probably gonna stay two nights, then we could dump the, the case in the hotel and oh. then go and do some stuff afterwards. Um, but yeah, well, are we gonna stay here for a little bit and then we're gonna go out? I think we're meeting Tiffany about like quarter past 12, so. Well, yes. no, we might walk, we might, we might walk a little bit, see if we can. See how far it takes us to get there. Yeah, and walk off the breakfast that we just see had. How long it's, we go until we go. Nah, yeah, yeah. To be fair, I mean, it's past rush hour, so it should be too busy, but we'll see. But I'm so excited to meet you, Kaylee and Tiffany. I mean, Tiffany, but Kaylee as well. We are definitely doing this again. We do this again so all three of us can shop till we drop. Kaylee, you're with us in spirit. Yes, Caitlin. 
ch we are channeling you to get us some of those de like amazing bargains that you find. So even though you are not here, you are here in spirit with us, and we will be, we will be looking for some manga uh, volumes that um, you've been looking for as well. So hopefully we'll be able to find some stuff and send them to you. Fingers crossed. But yeah, I can't wait to meet you two today. It's gonna be so much fun. But I will see you in the next clip. Bye bye. Soho Square. We are in Soho Square and we've got about half, half hour, hour until we meet Tiffany. So we thought we would just chill, chill here for a little bit. It's really quiet and not that many people compared to Oxford Street. It was super no, busy. busy. We almost got lost. Actually, no, I say we almost got lost. I almost got lost. Reese is pretty good with the underground, but I'm not, unfortunately. <laughs> but yeah, we are going to have Korean bibimbap and I'm super, super excited because I absolutely love Korean food. You quite like it as well, mm. don't you? Oh my God, you've got a spider on your head. Is it gone? You quite like Korean food, do don't like you? Food, yeah. yeah. So yeah, we can't wait to see you, Tiffany. I'm so excited. That grin though, that <laughs> grin. <laughs>
Himuka and we are in, where are we in? Japan Craft in Camden Town. Yeah, and we are just gonna do manga shopping. Oh, we're gonna attempt it. Yeah, we're gonna attempt. Yeah. We're gonna try to find yeah. as many series we can. Yep. But we yeah. might not. We, we had to go up with Rhythm Planet and it was a bust. So we're gonna give this one a go and see what happens. Fingers crossed. And we're looking out for stuff for you as well, Caitlin. So. <laughs> Basically, Biao manga by Guy. Oh, I think so. It might be, I might be trying to. That looks really cute though. Yeah. I like the art style on that. Mm -hmm. as well oh my god oh my god me. I need to get ah. are you gonna do it uh, are you gonna do it maybe. My day out in London I went with Reese and had such a fabulous time with Tiffany it was so fun meeting you girl I'm so gutted that we didn't get to actually get our proper manga shopping free con it just didn't happen there was like hardly any manga in Forbidden Planet it was so sad like the entire shelf was like just like one volume repeated over again or like nothing at all it was so sad and it was such a shame because we both were ready to like go mental and it just it didn't happen it didn't happen but uh let's just say because i was a little bit depressed on the way back home on the train i decided to do a little bit of manga splurging and ended up with a fair few so this next stack would be what was my pick me up kind of thing after our um epic fail for manga <laughs> having said that i did manage to find one for you of manga for myself and managed to find one for caitlin i'm so glad we found it for you girl like oh my god if we could find it for myself ourselves i'm so glad we were able to find something for you and it was a nice little smexy smutty mature little series that we found you so happy and so glad you liked it <laughs> but the volume that i managed to pick up it was retail but i'm not too fussed about it was demon from afar by karayuki volume four this one is far becoming harder and harder to find in fact looking at it that completes my entire set so yay <laughs> i can actually read it i haven't picked up and read this series for a long time i read volume i've read so far volumes one and two but i haven't finished it so that means i can finish it yay <laughs> but typical karaoke it's a gothic dark gothic fantasy uh, series i'm not entirely sure if it's got any romance elements to it i'm not too far into the series to know that yet but it's only a short one it's six volumes long if you're a fan of karaoke pick it up because it's an older series i'm sure because of what's going on in the world this will become slowly harder and harder to find so yeah that's the only one that i managed to pick up and i think that was oh my gosh where was it was it otaku japan or something i can't remember oh the video will be 
played before this but yeah or oh, they had such great manga such a great big selection some older stuff a lot of older stuff actually not too much newer stuff I mean they did but there was a lot of stuff that I don't normally I'm not able to find sort of like in Brighton or anywhere in my area like it's just it they're really hard to find even online like some of the stuff were hard to find but they had some really good stuff and honestly I wish my budget was a lot bigger for the day because I definitely would have got a bit mental in there but the prices are full retail no discounts so yeah this one was 12.99 I think it was not too bad but a little bit more than I wanted to pay but I'm not gonna complain because I got it and now it's complete yay <laughs> but um so the little haul that I had when I came back or the little like sad like depressive kind of like manga shopping that I did for a pick me up was all for one series and honestly I kind of blame this purchase on Caitlin a smidge a smidge not a lot just a smidge purely because she got me the first volume and I wasn't 100% sure on it after the first volume but if she hadn't have brought it for me I probably wouldn't have picked the rest of this up after watching the anime but that is Eden Zero so I managed to get volumes whoops 2 through 12 and oh my gosh guys Hiromashima has done such a great job with this series so far if I'm being honest as I said volume one didn't really like grip me um I thought it was just gonna be like a like a mickey take of like manga like not manga tubers but like uh, youtubers and like social media and um it didn't really entice me as much as I thought it was going to however once I watched the anime on Netflix oh my god it went so far past volume one i think we got to about uh volume four i think it was and then it kind of was just like um ended and i'm hooked i'm hooked this i've read rave master i've watched a good chunk of the um fairy tale anime and i have to say this is by far my favorite um series by Hiromashima. I hope you guys can see this. I'm kind of not trying to zoom in so much because I have to manually focus it and it's a bit of a pain in the butt. Um, so I hope you guys are able to see these clearly but this has just gone from strength to strength with each volume. It's just got better for me the further we've got into the series. I'm really interested to find out who Mother is in relation to Shiki. I have a funny feeling that they might be sort of like maybe Mother and Son? that's my theory I'm probably wrong I'm never good at guessing any of these things so I do apologize if it's wrong I think it is but honestly the the like the structure of how the guilt like the social media guilds work the the friendships the the villains we've had so far the fact that it's a mix between sort of like uh, robots and humans and kind of magic but not it's called ether gear it's just a really fascinating and intriguing take on like the shonen genre particularly because it's about space and um space isn't really a thing that's featured a whole lot in manga so i'm really like amazed that it's managed to get this far and they haven't like given it the big old axe because they didn't they didn't really like samurai 8 by um the same creator as Naruto. I mean, I suppose it's warranted because it wasn't that great. Here we go. It's not a geeky video without a without a book drop, right, guys? <laughs> but yeah, I'm 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 super happy with it. I'm enjoying it. I can't wait for volume 13. Hopefully, it gets to me soon. And it doesn't get delayed. So yeah. So that was kind of like my little pick me up haul for after London. It was such a great time meeting you Tiffany I cannot wait to do some more collaborations with you guys speak to you guys in our live streams and just hang out with you guys more like our discord also guys if you haven't checked out our discord I'll have it linked down in the description down below come and join us for a chat we do like game nights every so often we have our live streams you know our chilling chats we're even going to be introducing a kind of like book club a little later on within the next month or so which will be the first uh 
episode or the first live stream will be hosted on my channel so give this video a good old thumbs up a like comment and subscribe and also pop onto our discord follow the other girls give them a like comment and subscribe as well say that you've gone over there from my channel share the love spread the love we need it we need it right now like just yeah, come and join our wholesome beautiful community because it's one of the most beautiful places to be a part of or a beautiful community to be a part of i'm just so thankful that we have this community and between me tiffany and caitlin we have most certainly built up such a lovely wholesome and what i feel is a safe space for us to just nerd out and geek out and be who we are and i'm truly thankful for that so yeah that was my little london sad kind of not sad because i was happy because i got to spend time with you with you tiffany but my my kind of disappointment of there being no manga in london kind of haul i hope you like this video again don't forget to like comment subscribe to my channel it means the world to me and i will see you in the next one guys bye bye <laughs>